Hey guys, real quick, I just want to remind you guys of our Teespring store. We teamed up with a lot of wonderful artists to bring you some really great designs because you guys deserve great designs and you guys have demanded great designs. Some new additions include Bat Quartz, Rainbow Generations, and the new Crystal Clear logo. There's also stuff like the Diamond Gemstones, Planet of Attack, Always Feeling Blue, I'm Just As Important As You, Hello Starlight, etc. Now, picking up any of these designs does support the artist. The ones responsible for these newer designs are Nikki the Imaginative Artist, Art with Coda, and My Cat is You. So if you are interested in any of these, link is in the description. Now on to the video. Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Osric Vox, and as we approach the two-year anniversary of Lars Bariga dying and coming back to life, in addition to his return to Earth, I believe there are still many things surrounding the character we quite don't understand. But luckily, on the season finale of the Steven Universe podcast, hosted by Mackenzie Atwood, we got concrete canon answers about Lars. Answers about his powers, about his pink state. Will he live forever? And I hope these answers are very exciting for all of you. So, what are you waiting for? Let's jump in! Are Lars and Lion uh, immortal now, or is their aging process just extremely slowed down? Their aging process is extremely slowed down, as indicated by the very, very slow heartbeat you hear in... Is it Lars's head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, they're aging really, very, very slowly. They just slowly. Yeah. So they yeah. will die someday. Slow. Yeah, they will okay. die, for sure. For they'll sure. Live, they'll live a really, really long time. Longer than they'll want to. So let's actually start with that immortal question. Did Lars's resurrection turn him into an immortal being? Well, the answer is no. Lars is not immortal. However, he will live for a very long time. According to Cat Morris, longer than he wants to, much like Steven. This is bittersweet. On one hand, we can assume Lars will age. And if we have a time skip, his age will be reflected in his physical appearance. This also means he could pursue a romantic relationship with Sadie. And that it wouldn't be weird if she's in her 20s or 30s and he's still physically in his late teens. Will these physical features come in at a later time? Mm, maybe. But I'm just thinking he'll grow to a certain age. Eventually, he'll hit the Hugh Jackman fountain of youth. Actually, on that note, I think Lars's kids would have pretty good genes. If they don't come out, you know, pink. It is unfortunate, however, because even though Lars does have an expiration date, he probably will have to bury more than just his parents, but Sadie as well. Outliving the cool kids, outliving everyone who surrounds him in Beach City. There may not be a cure for this, this is just who he is now. Ultimately, at the end of his lifespan, he may just have Steven in the gems. Yeah, that's a lot to take in. So let's continue. Lars's powers. Does Lars have superpowers? And if so, what are Lars's powers? Well, the answer is yes, Lars does have powers, as stated by Rebecca Sugar herself. In fact, let's roll a clip. Can Lars do the lion roar warp thing, or does he have his own power? He can. I think we yes. tried to write stories around it, but we never quite did it. Yeah. But yes. he can if he gets, I don't know, tickled he, or something. He can, he can make a warp <laughs> and he can make a sonic blast with yes. his voice. Nice. Yes. Has Lars figured that out yet, or is that something he's going to find out later on in life? Well, he will at some point figure that out and use it, and it'll be really funny. <laughs> um, but, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, means, okay. Steven will pop out, and he'll scream Steven, and then he'll, he'll knock a wall down. That's, <laughs> that's how it'll go. Yeah. Actually, well, we had talked about, um, what's it, I think, about that being one of the ways that he was... Because he navigates he he sneaks around all these bases in space like he manages to go through the like the citrine i believe asteroid he and he, he infiltrates the um cosmic jubilee all these things would be very difficult to do if he was <laughs> but just walking by in. virtue of not being a gem and none of the technology can find him yes he can't be scanned but mm. uh, he also but they still have eyes in their heads <laughs> yeah they still have eyes in their heads and he, he also can warp around so he's he's very uh, well equipped to do his uh, space pirating, nice. and I guess by extension he can also walk on water. Yes, <laughs> lion can do. Yeah. I guess. Yes, that's, wow. can. that's also there. Yeah, anything lion can do. Anything lion can do, Lars, Lars can, can do. do. Yeah. Yes, you heard her right. Anything lion can do, Lars can do. 
which means all of Large's powers include a sonic boom concussive roar, creating portals and traveling through dimensions, storing things inside of his head, which we already kind of knew, having incredible stamina, and the ability to walk on water. Although if you ask me, I'm still hoping Large can create portals, or create sonic blasts by doing the finger gun bingo bongos. Pew pew! Since Rebecca Sugar did say when Lars uses his powers, it'll be a comedic moment, I'm thinking this is already something either planned out or even storyboarded. And I'm just wondering what that situation could be. If it's a more laid-back, comedy-driven episode, I can see Lars joining the band Sadie Killer and the Suspects. And when he treads at a high note, he ends up opening a portal instead. Don't waste your time on me, you're already the voice inside my... Yeah, whoa! That could even be what the entire episode builds up to. Lars keeps trying at a high note and... And when he finally gets it, boom, portal, big finish. On the other hand, it could be on a serious space mission. And when things go wrong, we have a moment of levity, where Lars panics and during his screams, he manages to open up a giant portal, allowing everyone to escape and then a sudden incinerator will never be seen again. Dems the brakes. I don't know, there are a lot of possibilities and I like that the universe acknowledges that Lars screaming to open up a portal is pretty goofy, because it is. When Lion does it, it's cool because, well, he's a lion. When Lars does it, and eh, not so much. Overall, it's a little bittersweet, but it seems as if Lars is fine. Well, there's actually one drawback they touched on. It's not a definite answer, but a potential outcome. Joe and I have disagreements about what Lars's life is like now. I, I, like li to, I don't like this answer. <laughs> I like to imagine that the trade-off is he lost his sense of taste. So now he just eats occasionally to sustain his body, but he can't enjoy food anymore. A drawback to Lars's resurrection could actually be a loss of taste. Oh god, I can't even fathom that idea. Imagine if you can't taste anything, and just put Lars in that situation. The dude's a baker, he loves to cook. That's just cruel and unusual punishment. Being able to bake so many amazing things, and then you can't even enjoy the food you made? Oh god, that's tragic, that's just simply tragic. Ugh, I need, I need a tissue, but... What do you guys think? What do you think of Lars's powers? Oh god, the boy can't taste. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts to us at RoundTableVids. For my own hot takes and me crying, you can find me at Osric Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of the channel, <coughs> I gotta plug money, or support us on Patreon. Link in the description. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda, and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, throw it a like, and subscribe to the Roundtable so you never miss any great Steven content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. I've been Osric Vox, and I'm gonna go ponder the meaning of life. <sighs> no taste, huh?